and welcome to Fit and Tonic with myself, Emmy. And today I've got such an exciting guest. This individual has probably had like the best year of her life this year. She's been so busy. I don't know how she's coped with it, but we have got the lovely Courtney Bowman today to chat about her new role on the West End in Pretty Woman. So hi, Courtney. How are you doing? Hi, woo! Yeah, I'm great, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So to begin with, let's talk about your journey into theatre, because I guess for you, growing up, there wasn't a lot of people on that stage that represented you. So kind of like, how did you, what, like, what made you want to go into theatre when, you know, that was kind of happening? Um, It was, it was more, not necessarily representation at the start, um in in my mindset because I I had a lot of energy and my mum was very sensible by putting me into dance classes when I was a little girl thank goodness and then um yeah I just really and I did like competitions and I really just enjoyed being on stage it just literally felt like I was alive oh that sounds so cheesy but like it's genuinely so true like I feel like even now I'm still a little like still trying to find myself as me and then but when I go on stage I'm like oh fantastic here we are I'm home people can laugh at me I find I find like comfort in people laughing at me like you're laughing at me now like yay like this interview's going great like you know what I mean like this is (laughs) that's like my mindset and stuff but um yeah no it was more I was a lot smaller say like in drama school and I was just a bit like well I um I was in like I don't want to just gonna brag here, but like I was in like top set dance wise, and they're like, well, if I'm well back then, I was like, well, if I'm this size, I've died to be that size now. But um, but they're not at the same time. Uh, like if I can do this now, like I'm gonna continue, and then I've just put weight on over the years. Not to not to lie, and obviously Miss Rona, she contributed fantastically <laughs> over those mm-hmm. two years. And I just thought, well, I can still do it. I can still dance. I can still sing. I can still act. So I'm just going to keep, in the eyes of the industry, pushing boundaries. But for me, just being me, mm. I've just babbled. But hopefully that made sense. Yeah. And I guess it's really important Word. for you then, because I think at the moment, you know, there are more conversations. It's just been announced about Wicked as well, kind of stepping up their game, oh. which is just... Sorry, um... yeah, that's, me just, that's me just talking about my size, not even <laughs> me being a person of colour, like... Because I just, obviously, an issue and things are changing, like, as you said about the Wicked casting and stuff. But, like, in my brain, I'm there, like, I I can do it. So, therefore, why is, like, and same with other people who are people of colour, bigger weight, smaller, like, whatever they look like. If you can do it, and if you're the right set of personality, say, for the role, why not? Like, why why not? Why not? Mm. Because it's just because uh, that in turn will make people want to go see theatre because they are oh, she looks like or he or they they look like me, and then yeah, people want to come watch it. People will come and want to do it because they're not scared that they'll get rejected. It's just a nice little circle. I just want to create. I, I've broken it and branched off into like a it's like that circle, but now I've branched off and made an eight shape. And hopefully this will carry on forever, like an infinity sign. Boom. See, I've nailed it. <laughs> Boom. I've nailed it. <laughs> and obviously you have had a fantastic year of theatre and, you know, you've done so much. And I think you've definitely, you know, you have created more conversation about, you know, different roles and whether they are so, you know, do they have to be so precise? So have you reflected on that over the past 12 months and kind of gone, I can fucking do it. Like, so why yeah. try everyone else? Like, one hundred percent. Like, this time last year, if you had told me I had the year that I had, I would, I would laugh in your face. Like, I would on the floor rolling because what, like, what the hell? I've completely forgot the question because my <laughs> brain's just gone. Hang on, hang on. What's happened this year? What are you? What the hell? Like, yeah. Hang on, what was the genuinely what was the question <laughs> so it was like how have you reflected on that 12 months like what has it made you kind of think about like moving forward well things doing what I do 
and because it's not um there's so many people in this industry so many of my friends who are capable of doing more than what they're doing it's just people need to just open their eyes a little bit more and that's what that's what I personally feel but yeah like reflective wise I'm still I can't believe it, like one side of my brain's going oh my god you're doing this can't believe it but then the second side of me is going no don't ponder on it too much like keep going because like it's been really t- it's been really tough as well as obviously criticism of people tap tap tapping and sharing mm. opinions and stuff and, but whatever um because yet again they're still talking about it mm. and but then you get your people that will rise up and fight and I appreciate that. Like, I really am grateful for that. Um, because then the uh, the more positive side are contributing to the change. Yeah. But then the same time, the negative ones are as well, because it's just like, well, why this? Well, why not? Mm. And I, yeah, I, and I love that. I love causing a bit of a ruckus. <laughs> one, of my, one of my favourite activities. <laughs> why not? So yeah. do you have a highlight of the past year? Is there one moment this year? Where oh, you come oh, on. God joking leave the bronze <laughs> obviously like well no actually it was more well no, no every, everything's just been like what this what what like my agent has heard me say what more times than anything in the whole entire world I'm like, are you sure and he's like yeah like, I'm like, oh, okay cool Let, let's go um yeah it's gonna have to be legally blonde because just because that was life-changing but like it's absolutely mad that like, I've always wanted to do um a Jerry Mitchell show <laughs> and then I've ended up doing three <laughs> in the year and I'm like to me I'm like oh, okay right okay I've got, I've got to go like got, like it's just so random but like, I like I'm I still I'm still processing getting a legally bond audition like I, I'm still there and soon I'll be like oh really a year ago I was in the park eating pollen <laughs> like you know um but yeah no that to answer your question so I've just spoken for a million years legally yeah legally blonde it just completely it was a full circle moment it though, was wasn't it? It, uh, full full circle but also like 180 my my life and yeah I'm st- like yeah, well oh, people can't see but right now I'm there like staring into space like what like I still I'm so grateful for it like I, I'm like me like what like it, it's weird I just I still find it really really weird and I'm still I still get anxious and stuff so it's not yeah oh yeah. so many emotions are like oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously like talking about this industry and you know for you it, it is a challenge to get where you are isn't it it's you know there is a lot of boundaries so do you have like really big cheerleaders in this industry yeah he's good oh, shout out to Billy Nevers <laughs> Ben Terry them like well I'm going to list and the whole class of Legally Blonde because we all still cheer each other on we all still go to see each other's shows and and stuff like that and it, we do this um really really cute thing where we whenever anyone in the cast bumps into each other always take a photo and always put it on on the group and everyone gets jealous so like like whenever I see like I don't know Ali with Liam or like just there's so many like two combinations of people that well to some will be random but like in our group it's like you see each other and it's just like instant mm. Don't get me started on the legally cast I'm talking all the time but yes I do I, I really do and I've got my, my best friend and bless him he's in Germany doing a play right now and um he's he can't like come and see my first show so like he's going you need to send me photos every day of what you look like uh, like you show me your wig show me this is like, I want to feel like I'm there and I'm like oh like he's my biggest cheerleader so shout out Stephen Collins love you um <laughs> miss you um but yeah like every I I want to say that like, I I support like everyone in this industry and you reap what you sow yeah really because I've got a lot of love to give and 
I do feel I feel that I get a lot of love back or I get a lot of love anyway because it's like it's not hard to be kind it's really not no you know and I guess um, sometimes in the industry side that it can be quite catty can't it so. mm-hmm. oh yeah 100 percent, and that's patterned behavior from I don't know like when being like oh they went to oh where you where'd you go to oh out there oh Matthew oh mm, do you know what I mean mm-hmm. <laughs> and, then, and you'd be like Hang on, why are you giving it what school do you go to who cares because you're gonna end up working with people any like you're end up working together anyway um so that's something I also find ridiculous but that's but that, that doesn't that well that's never really happened around me no. but obviously you've got to make yourself aware of that and it's just, it's such a weird industry as well. Sorry, here we go, reflective. That is so um, competitive, but then in the same breath, you're going to be probably end up working with people that you are quote unquote against for yeah. roles anyway. And like, even if it's what two months or two years or twenty years, like it's just yeah. Oh. Caught me <laughs> getting all reflective over here, but yeah, and also big shout out to the Pretty Woman cast. They have welcomed me and Daniel with open arms and have been just absolutely sensational. Made me, like completely made me feel at home. Everyone's really silly, which is good for you. That yeah, which is my foundation basically. If you can be silly and have a giggle, we're sweet. And that's yeah, and a oh, big, big, big shout out to Andy Bath as well, who plays uh, Andy Man and Andy Man, Andy Man. <laughs> oh, he's gonna take the nick out of me for that. Great. <laughs> um, plays Happy Man, he has just been he's held my hand the whole way because we've got the same agent as well. So, but he's both just he's just been so supportive. And obviously, Amy, so I was listening to everyone in the cast now, but uh, yeah, Amy's been fantastic. She is so fun to work with because obviously, I didn't when. The six pass change happened. Mm. Um, so, and now I've officially say, oh no, um, just Maya now. I've, I've worked with all of seven, Woo-hoo. but me and Maya went to college together. So, yeah. Nice. Nearly there. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Just Maya now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, obviously, you are about to embark on this new journey in Pretty Woman. So how do you feel about that new beginning and kind of starting afresh with something like that? Um, I find it quite, because obviously the role's already properly, properly established and stepping in, it felt, because obviously it's not the first time I have, because uh, the last time I did was with Six, um, yeah. but with that it felt so different because... I had the six there because we had like swings that were learning it and alternates that were learning it. And then I had Danielle. So like we had the full six where it's like, it's, it's been not to sound it like uh, Debbie Downer, but been quite lonely mm. to um, be like, oh, and Amy's there. And then Alex is there, like, duh, 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 duh. and yeah. And then like having to just like slot in and just, mm. just go has been quite, nerve it's been quite nerve-wracking this this way because i just am i I doing it right people are react like how people reacting and i've been quite in my in my head with this one shock horror i always i'm in the cranium but um yeah as i said though before pretty much they have just the whole cast have been so wonderful so welcoming that that eased me a little bit but still it's but in the going back to being reflective and stuff and think about me and what I look like and stuff. The costumes that I'm wearing, if you'd have shown them to me a year ago, or even possibly around April when I was doing legally, I would have been like, send them back, send them back. Now I'm like, no, do you know what? I don't care. This is this is me and this is what I look like. Mm. And that's another thing that I'm like, finding myself and finding to love myself just a little bit more. Because obviously, yeah, again, this is like this industry is so odd because you're like, hi, here I am. Oh, I'm John. Like, that is yeah. literally what it is. It's that thing of like, you know that you're good enough to come into the industry and go, hi, I can sing, dance, act, 
etc etc and then I don't be too cocky and come across as arrogant yeah. <laughs> you know it's so odd oh reflective reflective town <laughs> um, so how okay. do you kind of work with that character then because obviously if it is so established how do you kind of put like a Courtney Bowman like flavor into that well they've, they've been really really kind and been like well <laughs> I have I have now because I've established it but at first I wasn't allowed to watch the show Oh. Mm, which back back then I was like oh what why am I not allowed no and then I'm like ah this, this like I look as um Rachel's off at the moment because obviously she's given it gorge gorge no show crazy um um but Hannah who's the industry was on and I loved her choices but I'm there like uh, this is like, I, I was sat there watching it. I watched it in the matinee yesterday. Uh, don't know where this is going out. What's the day? He can come guys. Recorded. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, I was like, ah, I completely, I completely get why mm. that was the choice to because it mine's so different. And um, they've let me connect, like let me connect. But like, how would you feel? How would how would you do? And I'm like, right, okay. And they're like, well, let's but let's make it a little bit more hit, not Courtney Bowman from Lincolnshire reacting. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, not that I was giving him my accent, but like, I don't know. It's just, and that's another thing. So like, me being on my own, and it's it was so nice to have a play and. Like even even now in tech, it's like oh, like mm, have a think about this, have a think about that, and I'm like oh, I really appreciate mm. that instead of just being like hi, you're on eight, say the line there, make your way to seven in four counts, go. Not that that's ever like that, but like I like yeah, she's always growing. So like the performance that I do on Tuesday when I open will be completely different to yeah in two weeks time two months time yeah so and that's something that I'm excited to do as well because yeah again she's silly but when you tell me to be silly I don't I can't do it <laughs> can't do it they're like be funny John like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what made you um, go for that show and that role I think I've seen the film but obviously as I just said I wasn't I wasn't allowed to watch it and like, I'm actually glad that I didn't sneak in before my audition or when I got the job and I knew it I'm just I'm actually really glad that I didn't do that but um yeah I see the film it's iconic also it's my I didn't know this until yesterday mum's like it's one of my favorite films I'm like I have never in my life watched Pretty Woman with you I'm like so you are Liza Minnelli Lyon she's like no no I just love it she's like Richard Gere oh Julia Robert oh beautiful I'm like oh god mum but like yeah like I remember watching the film even the film being like yes and also just I don't know it going ah no one has looked like me who's played Kit Mm -hmm. and it's just been like like, yeah I can I can do this I can play this role and look how I look and therefore people will be like ah it's like they're all prostitutes they come in different shapes and sizes darling you know they're just like not people have got different preferences haven't they they really really do and hopefully my kit is very popular on the streets of los angeles (laughs) los angeles um but yeah no i just also it was me going like oh my god hilarious if i book this because it would be legally blonde then kinky boots then then pretty woman ha 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 ring ring hi oh hello kit what and like, yeah again being like what 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 because yeah again like when you do your auditions and stuff some hopefully people can relate to this you walk in and you, you do it and you're like that was terrible and then for some reason well it obviously either goes one or two ways but like when you get the call being like, oh you got recall. Like, oh, really like I remember I remember taping for it. The taped and then I had one audition. Yeah, I had my recall. And then they sent them tapes off to America. And then 
I got the call, which is fab. But um, I, I remember being like ill because I'd like I had the legally blonde wave went down. I was a bit poorly, did a concert, kind of had to force myself to feel better. Mm-hmm. And then I started to feel a bit down. And I'm like, oh, peaky boots. And then I was like, oh, crash. And then they were like, Courtney, you're in for kit. And I was like, oh, like they're like and you need to bring this like you can't have an extension I was like oh like, I remember feeling a bit cruddy but yeah and it's just so nice to have something that's fun and feel good and just to yeah just to be but like I miss being fun and also can't lie doing something that's less than Elle Woods because Jesus that that took when you said I don't know how Courtney managed to do <laughs> yeah I've got Coke Zero <laughs> and and a prayer uh, and, and and support that's how I got through that's how I'm getting through this year it's not over yet <laughs> it's not over yet um yeah yeah <laughs> you kill me you're so funny but um, God. so with like Pretty Woman, like moving forward, then, like for you, kind of moving forward professionally, you know, do you, is there any roles you'd really love to do that already you're like, I'm ready to bang that door down and do that. Um, you could do one more step, darlings. You've got your POC leads. Let's make one of them plus size. I don't mind which one. You call me and let me know, wicked, <laughs> if you can hear me. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah, like that. That would be something that I, I, I would oh drop all the money to see. Mm. I really, really, really would. Um. Uh, yeah, because let, let's that. Like, I'm gonna I'm wicked. Hi, if you can hear me, I've been blonde. I look good, blonde, everyone, <laughs> and green. I've worn green before. Green for color. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say, Louise Demon Part Two. Who, mm, I don't okay. know. I don't know. Wicked, if you can hear me. No. Um. But yeah. No. I think. I think something like that would be immense. Like crazy. But you never know. No. Wicked, if you can hear me, <laughs> call me. Um, <laughs> Pleading um, wicked. Yeah, yeah, but that would be cool, like, so fab to do. That would just step it up one in, more. It, it? Yeah, but in the same breath, I'd just love to do new work as well. Never, never shut down new work. Never, because a new British theatre as well, like, we, we also need that. But just, yet again, doing roles that you wouldn't, you that aren't stereotypical or originally sh- showcased as someone who looks like me or any, like any of my pals who look like me, just to, mm. and just to be inspiring, really. Like, that's something that I, like, in all honesty, I was just like, oh, uh, when I left drum school, I, like, I just want to work. I just want to work. Uh, give me anything, da, 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 da. which is the same. And that's now, so it's the truth now. Um, but um, it's just a lot more meaning now. And yeah. I'm so, ooh, don't cry. Honey, I'm so grateful <laughs> um, to be a part of the change. It's been tough mm. on the noggin, but. It's so important, though. I mean, but... It's so important, but like um, the path, like that's something I got told at legally. The path of change is never easy. If no. it was, we'd all everything... it would have happened ages it, ago. Yeah, it would happen ages ago, and yeah, <laughs> and yeah, inspirational, <laughs> inspirational chat. That was your ten talk for today. <laughs> So, you know, if people haven't seen Pretty Woman before, what can they expect from seeing it on the West End, do you think? Joy, fun, go there and have a good time. And at the end, when I say sing with me, I want you to sing with me. Don't leave me hanging. (laughs) Um, But, yeah, if you love the film, 
come and see it if you've never seen the film. Come and watch it. It's just so, like literally such fun, good times, energy, joy, words. Amy Atkinson is just oh my god. Because I've never seen her do anything but Catherine Howard. Yeah. Um. But oh my god, watching her do Vivian, Jesus Christ. She's sensational. She's absolutely ridiculous. Don't tell her I said that. Because <laughs> I have to I have to be like Kit. I've got to be grounded and caring, but not too lovey dovey, which I was just then. <laughs> <laughs> so one final question then for you, Courtney. If you were to like tell younger Courtney something, if you could tell her one bit of advice or kind of inspire her for the future, what would you tell her? Don't live in your head because what you're thinking, 9.9 times out of 10 is not what's going on in other people's heads. So stop. Chill your beans. Chill your beans. Just chill out, girl. That's me. I'm looking in the mirror talking to myself now. Girl. <laughs> girl. No, like, no matter what, I, I will forever more live in my head and that is the wickedness lol wicked wickedness of um social media it is mm, i do and i do enjoy it but then i really really do not and yeah younger courtney don't don't believe everything you read not like because opinions aren't facts there we go microphone drop <laughs> So many. Oh my god, that's so good. Opinions aren't facts. That one. <laughs> <Not> that one. <laughs> Apart from mine, mine are facts. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for chatting to me, Courtney. It's been an absolute pleasure and good luck on Tuesday. You're going to smash it, you'll be fine. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you. All right. Hold on, let me stop it. Let me stop it. <laughs>